side. Don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park. The passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another episode of my cooking show, Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and, you know, do it the Trailer Park way. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to watch some of my past shows. They're all underneath my channel, and you can click on them and watch them, and you know, some of them are a little bit longer, so you're going to have to schedule me. I don't mind if you have to write down, tonight I'm going to have to watch Jolene. I'm not some 30 second clip, I'm some 5 to 30 minute clip, but you can schedule me and watch them, and then you know how to fix something for your family. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a casserole that is really tasty and spicy, and it's it's kind of nutty, and I don't mean crazy. Uh, it uses Spanish peanuts, which you might have seen in candy and or just eating. Um, these are really great, and they have a great flavor, and they have a the little skin on them. And uh, these are going to be in our casserole along with egg noodles and uh, green peppers and uh, uh, condensed cheddar soup and. Uh, let's see, pimento olives, and uh, it's going to be a really great casserole that your family's really going to like. And I'm going to show you how to make it next up on my show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my nutty beef casserole. One and a half pounds of ground beef or chuck. One large onion chopped. Half cup green pepper chopped. One can cheddar cheese soup. One small can mushroom stems and pieces. About a half cup of pimento stuffed olives. One teaspoon salt teaspoon basil leaves, one four teaspoon pepper, half cup salted Spanish peanuts, one package of egg noodles, one package of shredded cheddar cheese, and some squirt cheese to make the top look pretty, one tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning, Thought I forgot, didn't you? Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. You know, making the casserole is real simple, and you're going to need about three pots and pans. A bowl to, uh, you know, boil the egg noodles. A skillet pan to, you know, ground the background beef here. And a casserole dish. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take four quarts of water with about a teaspoon of salt in there and I'm going to bring it to a boil and then add our egg noodles. It's going to take about five to seven minutes for them to be cooked. Then we're going to set them aside. 
We're going to drain them and then use them later on, but we're going to chop up our vegetables and get everything else ready for our casserole. Now we're going to chop up a half cup of green pepper. You can use small pieces, you can use big pieces, you can even use the whole pepper if you want, if you like peppers. So go ahead and chop it up and set it aside. Now, cut up your large onion into bite-sized pieces. I cheated a little. I bought the store brand uh, shredded cheese in a bag and it's usually on sale and you know what? It saves time and I have better things in life to do than stand there and shred cheese and I usually get my knuckles anyway so go ahead and just buy it in the package. It's so much more easier. I was at a store the other day and I bought one of those fancy can openers. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. I don't know. We're going to put it on here. If I can figure it out. Well, let's see if it goes like that. Can I touch it now? Well, that's with it worked. It's kind of different and it cut around the side there. And look at that. It's not sharp at all. Don't cut yourself on the corner like the other kind. Well, isn't that neat? Well, now you just drain your uh, mushroom stems and uh, pieces. Now I have the egg noodles here on the, the stove and I've cooked them for about five to seven minutes and I'm going to set them aside and we're going to drain them a little bit later. Now we're going to sizzle up the ground beef and we all know about proper meat temperatures and all that sort of thing and make sure that you cook it well because we all know about mad cow disease and hopefully this isn't a clone cow either because that's just nasty. Now make sure that your ground beef gets nice and brown. And at this point, you can go ahead and start adding the spices. That's going to be, uh, let's see, salt to your taste, but about a teaspoon. Pepper again to your taste, but about one fourth teaspoon. Basil leaves about a half teaspoon. And my favorite, Montreal steak seasoning, to your taste. And mix that all around. Now at this point, go ahead and take some of the grease out of there if that bothers you. It really doesn't bother me. But I get comments all the time, Jolene, you left all that grease in there. You can use one of the dollar store sucky things, but I really just like to use some paper towels and be very careful, and it just sucks it right on up there. They're sanitary. It takes care of it, and it, look, soaks up all the grease just right there. Look at that. You can even pat it to make it even more healthier if that's what you want. But that takes care of the grease problem. Now, I'm going to add the green peppers and the onions and all the stuff that we chopped up here. And sizzle that around.
Mmm, that smells good. We want to cook the peppers and onions until they are a little bit soft. We're still going to put this in the oven, but this is where they're going to get cooked the most. Go ahead and add the mushroom stems and pieces at this time. Make sure that they were drained too. Okay, we have our noodles drained here and now we're going to start putting our casserole together and it's really simple. All you do is take your uh, vegetable and beef mixture and just dump that into the noodles. Stir that around a little bit. Now we're going to add the condensed cheddar cheese soup. and one and a half cups of whole milk. Now we're going to add the sliced ripe olives and I go ahead and buy the sliced ones already. Uh, you can buy the whole ones and slice them yourself or add the whole ones already in there if you like to bite down on whole olives in your casserole. I don't. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and slice these up and add them to our casserole and they have the pimentos in them too. And mix that all around. Look at that. It's going to make two. You can go ahead and put two together and once the other one is cooked you can freeze it and just use it when you need it. We're going to take the cheddar cheese Just like that. And we're going to spread it out. Just use your hands. That, no one will know the difference. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Now we're going to add the Spanish peanut topping. Now, put it in your oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and bakes down. What is wrong with my oven? Take two. Now it's ready for the oven. Make sure your oven's preheated to 350 degrees. It's going to take about 30 to 35 minutes for the cheese to get all bubbly and it's going to bake down just a bit. Set your timer. I have some of my nutty beef casserole fresh out of the oven and you know it just smelled so good while it was cooking nice and spicy and I just can't wait to try it. Mmm, that is good. This is definitely going to be a hit at your household or trailer or whatever you live in. This is a great casserole that's very simple to make and mmm, it has the Spanish peanuts the green pepper, the cheddar cheese, and the mushrooms, and it's just real good. And the egg noodles, too. Mmm. Try it tonight. You'll like it.
Mm, I'm gonna finish it. Mm. Thank you. Tune in next time where I show you. <laughs> As I choke on it. Where I show you how to do it the trailer park way. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe too. I love you. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the trailer park queen. Visit me on the web at JoleneSugarbaker.com. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide.